A man who is loved by so many around the world had led millions to Christ. We are learning the sad news that Pastor Dwayne King has passed away at the age of 84 years old. And this was not just some ordinary pastor. And we're going to get into all the details of what he did, his life and legacy, in just a second, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, or the glasses, because I'm blind. And, you know, this is a story I can really relate to because for somebody and myself who's blind, I can relate to those who struggle with, you know, other disabilities, especially those who are deaf. Um, you know, what this man has done, the CEO of Deaf Missions, uh, a ministry that really began itself back in the 1960s. You know, this is in a time where, you know, Dwayne was approached by a couple who was, uh, who was deaf. And he had communicated through to them and told them that, you know, if they came to church, that he would learn sign language. And what that started from there, and this all took place in Nebraska at the time, back in, I believe it was 1966, that he would learn sign language. And not only did he learn sign language, but from there, uh, he started holding his own sign language services for the deaf, uh, which later ended up him moving to Iowa with his wife, where they started deaf missions all the way back in the 1960s. Now, uh, the sad passing here of Dwayne occurred, we're learning now it happened on uh, January 25th, and his funeral service was actually held last weekend. And I mentioned here the millions of people that he not just affected, but led to Christ around the world. And he helped to oversee, and this was so important because in June of 2020, a project that he was he'd been in on for quite some time. This was an idea that he got, you know, really all the way back in the 1980s. Uh, the first American Sign Language Bible. You know, he had talked in the past about how he noticed that for deaf people, that their native language was sign language. And some of them had trouble, you know, reading the Bible in English and that he needed to figure out a way to, you know, make it uh, available for them to understand. And that's really what brought on this whole you know, what can we do to, to put out a translation, a sign language translation translation for deaf people? And that's what all led uh, to the first American sign language Bible, um, which has been out now uh, for the last year and a half. Uh, it's amazing that he was able to oversee this and see this actually come to fruition uh, before his passing. Somebody that has led a full life, you know, at 84 years old, um, the amount of people, you got to know, it takes a special person to start a ministry like this, to want to get involved with people because so often, you know, people who are deaf or who are blind, and I've, uh, I've known both, um, you know, they're cast to the side or they're ignored and, and, it, and people don't really look to them as, oh, necessary a priority. Um, but this man took the time, Dwayne King, to address just that. And you know, I'm so happy for all the people that were impacted by him that have found this Bible to be a help to them. Uh, r really, you know, just something that they can, you know, truly, you know, live out the scriptures and really being able to relate to it in their native language, like Dwayne was saying, which was the whole entire goal. Uh, it's truly amazing. He is not going to be forgotten. That is for sure. Uh, married to his wife for over 60 years you know, raising children, grandchildren, what a legacy, uh, somebody who will be loved. Uh, and remember this too, you know, the reunions in heaven, you know, we talk about this all the time about, you know, that day is coming when all of those who have lost somebody will be reunited with them again. Um, and I, you know, <laughs> I remember when the news came out about the, uh, the sign language translation of the Bible coming out. And I thought that was just, that was awesome. Um, you know, there's audio, there's been audio Bibles for the, you know, for the people who are blind like myself for quite some time, but this was really cool to see this come out. Um, we know that Dwayne is now with Jesus. Um, no, I didn't see the cause of death or anything like that. So, um, it, it hadn't been released at least from where I was gathering my information, uh, but prayers for his family. And look, we never want to leave any video here. This is part of our ministry. You know, we report, you know, on the end time Bible prophecy headlines and everything happening in the world, but we stress the need for people to get to Jesus Christ in this hour. And so you want to make sure that however you leave this world, whenever you do, that when you do, you are with Christ when that happens, much like Dwayne is now. So I'd like to lead you in a prayer right now. This is something you could do in your own words, but I'll give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. 
the first thing that you want to do right off the top is to acknowledge that you're a sinner. That's something that we all are. But God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid that cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sins, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles or habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He wipes that sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this for you guys down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Our prayers again going out to the entire King family, everybody impacted by this. Um, uh, you guys are loved. Just know that and you will see Dwayne again. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.